Hey, what are you doing, Plum? Plum. Hey, Plum. Oh, sorry. Didn't see you there. What are you doing, man? Oh. Uh, uh, just working on my character sheet. New cleric. Oh, sweet. Let me take a look at that. Yeah, man. Take a look. Okay. Cool. Uh, why, why, why do you have 12 attack spells? Well, I mean, it is D&D. &D. Gotta attack things, right? Yeah, man, but I don't know if you need that many attack spells. What about all the utility spells? Walk on water, control water, water, create food and water. Clerks got a lot of water stuff, don't they? Yeah, man, but I like having options when I attack. Like Spirit Guardians, Guiding Bolt, Thunder Wave. No, I get it, having options, but when you have 14 prepared spells plus the domain spells that you have on top of it, you don't need to be half attack spells. There's a lot of utility. Nah, man. All that stuff's weak. I want to be able to deal maximum damage with every spell slot. What if I use all these utility spells and then I don't have anything to use against in a fight? All my spell slots are gone and all I can do is cantrips. Uh, Flum. Kill me, man. So let's let's talk about spell casting for a second. Um, I've I've run into it a couple times, and more recently as well. It's kind of brought me up wanting to talk to Flum about it. Is that um, what's what's with the desire to have so many attack spells at the ready? Um, options are good, but when like how often are you using? all of these different attack spells if it's just dealing damage and I've seen clerics are kind of the worst culprits of this is that they only seem to take spells that either decrease the HP of an opponent or increase the HP of an ally which uh, I guess the initial thought is that like yeah that's what you want to do D&D is a combat game there's a lot more to deal with than just the health resource um, there's a lot of utility that can be used and maybe it's a little different from table to table but, I don't know, whenever I've played a cleric, I have maybe three attack spells that I, I sit down with. I, I grab Guiding Bolt, I grab Spirit Guardians, and then maybe one or two more based on my domain. Um, but I see a lot of people that, like, aside from their domain spells, which are required, which should mean that if they have attack spells in the domain, like if you're Tempest, Light, things like that, you should probably have less attack spells prepared, because those ones should already be really good for your domain. I just, I don't get the, the thought process behind that of just having as many attack spells as you possibly can, and then you get into situations where all these other spells would be useful. Not to mention, I sometimes see it on the other side that casters will, or especially clerics, will have three different revival spells simultaneously. Um, for me, with the exception of t times that I, one, have a diamond worth the value, or I know... Uh, it's going to be a super dangerous. I pretty much only ever have gentle repose at the ready. Uh, that's kind of like the quick, I'm going to get you right now. Um, I usually don't have revivify at the ready. Gentle repose uh, is enough uh, for buying us time uh, until I can use it. Um, death doesn't also, when I'm a player, doesn't happen so often that revivify is like, I don't have to have like a bag full of diamonds. Uh, obviously, results may vary, uh, but... I don't know, it's just a weird thing that I've noticed, and I wanted to know what you guys thought of it. Um, but Cleric's just having a lot of attack spells. Um, and I think this kind of bleeds over to other classes, but it, it's really the prepared casters that seem to kind of just always do it. Um, wizards like that as well, having like just a list of attack spells. But they have so many like obviously good combat utility spells that I don't think they're that bad off at it. Um, you know, they're often putting things like Mage Armor and Shield, uh, Counterspell, uh, Dispel Magic, things like that. So it's a little 
uh, it's a little less. Plus, they have the ritual casting, even if it's not prepared. So wizards are less uh, in this problem. Whereas in clerics, they tend to be the, the big ones, which is funny because clerics have the most spells available to them out of any class if you count the domain spells on top of it. Other classes, especially some of the half casters and even druids, if you're a land druid, get a couple of like the circle spells or um, oath spells and things like that. But none of them get nearly the same amount of domain spells that clerics do. Um, so the sheer number of spells that clerics have at their disposal is uh, crazy. And then when I find a party that is, they don't have <laughs> some basic stuff like create food and water, walk on water, some of the stuff that to me in my mind, and maybe I'm, I'm wrong, but to have that all, to me that's like you always have that at the ready just in case. It's not going to be useful every three, maybe even five sessions, but when you, when you need it, it's there. Um, and then on a small tangent... Uh, all spellcasters, uh, with the exception of warlocks, warlocks seem to be the only ones that get it because it's very obviously built into their mechanism, but just because you, you're low on spell slots or have no spell slots doesn't mean you're useless. Like, you just become just under the martial classes and your ability to deal damage um, because you, you're cantrips. The, the whole point... One of the big points in spellcasters in 5e that I was like, wow, this is this is amazing, is that if you run out of spell slots, you, you still have cantrips that are very damaging, where they used to be terrible. Um, so don't count yourself out when you're out of spell slots. Like, cantrips, are, that's your backbone. Everything else is like, whoa, that's the that's the above normal limit that you're there big time. Um, but I don't know. Let's talk about it. This is, this is probably a good topic for discourse. Uh, but, you know, I wanted to get Flamin on this. I mean, we haven't seen him yet, but, I mean, but, uh, yeah. Let me know what you think. Clerics, should they be, should they have 10 plus attack spells at the ready? I don't know.